Hey everybody, welcome back, Falcon 60 Seconds. We are back with a interesting challenge for you today. Um, I've been reading some of the suggestions that you guys are always leaving behind. A lot of them are really good. A lot of them that you guys are leaving behind, I'll just take note that a lot of them that you are suggesting I've actually already done. Just go back and check out the uh, older episodes if you want to see something in particular. I've been getting a bunch of like Falcon do so and so and so and so only, do so and so and this person only, but I've done every single variation imaginable already in terms of um, starting off with certain survivors and other different things that you've already mentioned. So, I mean, if you see, if you suggest a challenge and I haven't really done it yet, more than likely it's because I already have done it. Just go back and look at the older videos for that. Anyway, today we have a special one. Today we're going to be doing trimming Ted's beard. And this is going to be more difficult because it's going to be an RNG type of event, kind of like the um, communicating with the roaches was. Uh, with this event, I don't really know how to go about completing it myself, but if I had to imagine just based on achievement alone, you would probably have to survive long enough for Ted's beard to get really crazy and mangy, and then you probably have to have the fire axe as well, and then at some point, maybe you'll trigger the event to shave the beard, or you won't. But um, that's how I imagine it's going to work out, so today's going to be Shave Ted Down Dog. I mean, that's not part of the name of the challenge, but you know what I mean. Anyway, let's get into the game. Alrighty guys, so let's see here. We have Dolores, Timbo, together, together again. We have um, Boy Scout Magazine, Water, we have Debug Spray. Alrighty, so you guys are kind of all the way over here, huh? Anything of value all the way back here? Yes, as a matter of fact, Gas Mass and Medkit is always of value. I remember the medk is only t it's two spots, right? So we could probably just grab everything over here right now and then run to the shelter and come back. Please grab that food. Grab this medkit. And we will run back to the shelter. We'll come back over here and probably more than likely grab Mary Jane. I was about to call her Mary Sue for some reason or another. I kind of like Mary Sue a little bit more than Mary Jane, as a matter of fact. If you're Mary Jane, if your name is Mary Jane, and I've somehow insulted you by saying I prefer Mary Sue instead, I apologize. By the way, Falcon, you need this fire axe because that's kind of like the whole premise of this challenge, so you might as well just pick it up now. We have picked up people, so that's good. I don't really need that chessboard. I'm not sure why I grabbed it. Just out of force of habit, I'm running. I'm over here clicking, so I grabbed it. Not happy about it. We have a bunch of food and water in the kitchen. That would make sense. It's normally where food and water is usually found in a regular household. Let's go ahead and grab this map, grab this rifle as well, and we dump it off here. Now, we need some rationing as well, so let's come over to this kitchen that we talked about, grab all this food over here. We are gonna need some more water as well. There's water just kind of littered about everywhere. I don't think we're gonna make it, guys. I don't think we're gonna make it with this one. I don't think I grabbed any water whatsoever. I think I probably grabbed like two bottles of Unlucky. Let's find out here. If this is bad, I'm gonna probably have to just restart it again. Let's see. Let's see what we have over here. There's no point in coming into this challenge without like, no items, so... Um, you know what? You know what? Uh, we didn't get the flashlight, which is actually kind of bad because we could have done a Pancake's event. But we have three bottles of water, we have a decent amount of food. We're missing the cards and the bullets, but we have just about everything other than cards, bullets, and flashlight, right? Yeah. You know what? I kind of like this challenge. Let's go forward and see if we can actually survive it. The water's going to be a problem, though, because we only have water technically right now for 15 days. Well, 20 days if you want to push it to the limit and assume you get no more water. Before 20 days, we will die then from um, dehydration. But let's go forward. Day one. I kind of like it. I grabbed a lot of good items, apparently. I didn't really seem like I did, but I kind of did. All right, so day one, nothing's going to go on. Um, what I would love right now, early on, is the supply drop event. That would be an easy two water and two food, and the possibility of also, you know, not breaking our, you know, gas mask, which could be really ideal. But what are the chances that happens? I guess we'll find out right now. Nope, nothing there. So we have a rat, though. We're going to go ahead and use the fire axe and the rat. This rat is not stealing our minimal food. That is for a fact. Make sure that fire axe doesn't break, too. Okay, good. We can't. We got to make sure this fire axe survives everything, because, you know, if we lose the fire axe, we can't really complete the event, and we're kind of boned then. So let's see here. Uh, day three, nothing's going to be giving in terms of food or water. Uh, supply drop! Yes, thank god! <laughs> well, I haven't seen that event in a while, because I haven't been playing 60 seconds too often recently, so I was like, wait a minute, what is that one about? But it is some um, water and food, which is the one I was hoping for. We got water and food. We broke the gas mess, but you know what? I could live with that. I could easily live with that because we have the Boy Scout magazine, which could repair the gas mess. So, not a big problem. We got two extra food and water, which is what we really needed. So, at this point, let's just say that we came in with just missing the flashlight, really, and the cards and bullets, maybe. But we came in with a pretty good supply of food and water because the supply drop did even us out relatively well. So, we'll skip forward over here. Day four, we have. Uh. Uh oh. 
This is, no, that's not the event that's gonna break the radio. I'm sorry, I'm kind of like rusty. I haven't been playing this too often recently. That's just to kind of get us, um, our minds off of things, right? It's not gonna break anything. I was worried that was gonna be the event where you have a possibility of breaking the radio if nothing, if there's no noise coming out of it. But, um, luckily, it's not that one. Good. Good, good, good. Alright, so today's gonna be water day for sure, and food, we're gonna go up to day 10. I really hope we don't get sick before day 10 because of lack of food. It happens on occasion, but I'm hoping it doesn't happen this time around. Day 5, no event? Good, let's go forward. We do have a lot of food, though, so, I mean... Day 9, I could... If I'm feeling, like, no, not so certain about it on day 9, I could give them food then. And hope for the best, in case I don't wanna risk it. Fly, get out of here! Oh, yeah, I wanted to, oh, there it is. Oh, it flew away. God damn it. I wanted to actually squish that fly. Just for no reason whatsoever. It felt like it. It was bugging me. Uh, alrighty, so what do we have here? Alrighty, so the map is telling us about a mysterious um, section to go check out. You know what? I think we have enough items and maybe even water and food that I'm not going to take this risk. I've done this risk twice now in my not so, you know... Actually, some recent recordings, as a matter of fact, with the um, water and food challenge only that we did last time, I took that event with Dolores and she got lost, and then the one before that, we lost the map and we injured ourselves too. So yeah, usually that one doesn't really pan out for me, so that's one of those events that are kind of on my shit list, where it's just kind of like ignored by whatever means necessary, just ignored every single time. Day 7, hungry, okay. Well, we can't eat just yet, guys. It's been a while, we don't know what's happening on the surface. Let's go ahead and tune into the radio, and let's get some news as to what's happening out there right now. Luckily, we do have the bug spray, so we could potentially use our fix our med kit whenever we end up using that down the line for sure. So I'm happy about that. And we have the Boy Scout magazine to deal with the roaches as well, so there is that. Uh, we were able to get a weak signal and tap into the government's emergency announcement service, and guess what? Great news, the fallout outside is mostly gone! Excellent, alrighty, because we, we don't have a gas mask anymore, so that should be really ideal for us. Now, do we want to give food now? Coming up on day 9? Not sure yet. This is going to be um, Pancake. Unfortunately, Pancake, we cannot um, help you out. I have no flashlight for you, my friends, so instead of going out there and shooting you and spraying you with bug spray, I'm just going to go forward, and you should be fine. Yeah, everybody's fine. Um, but we can't do the uh, Pancake event anymore, which is actually pretty bad because, you know, he offers a lot of good pluses if you have him around, but, you know, so be it. Alrighty. Now, here is the... Tricky situation. Do we go for food now and avoid any sort of illness, or do we just say screw it and try for day 10? I am going to say screw it. Let's try for just day 10. Please, nobody gets sick. Nobody gets sick right now. I would rather hold on to that medkit. Thank God you guys made it. Perfect. Alright, so today is going to be water and food days for everybody. Alrighty, let's go forward. Food, water. You guys know the routine. And let's see, do we feel like going outside now? Timmy is in good health and full of optimism. And that is usually a pretty good sign. Ted is vigorous enough. And Dolores, we can send her out for an expedition. And Mary Jane is feeling so-so. I kind of feel like sending Timbo out there right now. What kind of event do we have here? Uh, we can keep sitting on our backsides here in this tiny little shelter, or we can start thinking about getting away as far as possible from this radioactive wasteland. Who would have thought that the Reds would ruin such a lovely neighborhood? We could do it on our own, the escaping part, not the ruining part, of course. However, there will be someone out there who can help us. Let's keep our eyes and ears open. Ah, uh, yeah. I'll hold off for a bit longer. I do want to send them out there, but isn't there, like, a better event for Timmy or, like, a better state? Like, you know, Timmy can do it. Timmy can, you know, whatever. The optimism sounds good for sure, but I think it's the one that we're looking for is the one where it says, like, you know, Timmy can do it, blah, 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 blah. Anyway, we made contact. The military is out there and they're coming for us, and what we need to do is now is wait patiently. The soldier with the boring voice was very specific about, his, about this. Help is on the way. We just need to wait for further instructions and keep our radio in working order. Okay, you say that. However, my main goal right now is to shave Ted. So, um, even if they're out there, that's good, but, you know, <laughs> I still want to shave Ted. Now... Do we send Timbo out there? He's in good health and full of optimism. I kind of want to. It's Timmy's birthday, too. You know what? Let's give Timmy the chessboard before we send him out there. Maybe this will kind of, um, you know, liven him up even more. And this will be the ideal thing that we needed. Maybe this will cheer him up. Let's see here. Alrighty, when we were taking cover in the shelter, we barely had time to grab anything, so the checker said it's missing half its pieces. It seems that you can still play with one half since Timmy has been enjoying himself. Good. He's enjoying himself, and that's what really matters now, isn't it? Alrighty, let's see here. Timmy's in good health and full of optimism. The Wasteland is no match for Mary Jane. That's really the best one for Mary Jane as well. 
Oh boy, oh boy. Let's send somebody out there tomorrow. It's going to be between Timmy or Mary Jane. I would rather have Mary Jane stick around, though, just because if we could get the spider event, we could turn her into a mutant, and then she's going to be really invincible then. But, um, I don't know. She's She has the better status right now than Timmy to go out there. I don't know. I really don't know. I guess I'm going to send Timbo out there. I'll take the risk here. I really want to turn her into a mutant, because then she becomes really, really fucking OP. And we can definitely use that right now. So day 14, what do we have for today? Timmy went outside. All right, so you guys are getting hungry and thirsty. That's fine. Day 15 is almost around the corner, so don't you worry one bit. I should have probably sent Timbo out there on day 14, as a matter of fact. Just... Oh, Dolores, no! <laughs> oh, that was my fear. That was my fear indeed. She got sick from the uh, no food, I would imagine. Let's see. It's not eating for a while. Came down with a sickness. That's because of the food issue. Um, so everybody gets water and food right now, and I almost feel like... Yeah, I almost feel like using the medkit on Dolores now. Just keep her in tip-top shape. And then we'll just hope that the bug spray event triggers and we can fix the medkit again. Or maybe Timmy will come back with a medkit, we don't know. Right now we use the Boy Scout magazine on the roaches, get them the hell out of here, and we will preserve our bug spray event. Or the bug spray for the possible event to um, cure somebody else down the line. So, Dolores is back in tip-top shape, good. Alrighty, so day 16, everybody's fine. Uh, we felt that we should do something about our interior decoration. The Feng Shui is really off in our fallout shelter. While we were moving things around, we found a secret door. What's behind it? There's only one way to find out. It's true. I I guess we'll use the rifle. I have no flashlight. I mean, maybe we'll find something of value. Maybe we won't. We'll find out right now. Timmy's back, though, so that's good. He brought back no medkit, though, but I think he brought back water because we have that big jug now. Let's see what we found here. Oh, no, no, we got water on ourselves. Yeah. So, what's the first thing you do when you open a door leading to a place you don't know? Open fire! Bam, bam! Our bullet struck the wall, and guess what? We hit a water pipe! We were able to fill a few water bottles with old water that trickled from the bullet holes. Eh, hey, that's really good. Never gotten that event before, and it's actually pretty ideal. I like it. Um, Timmy's back. Did you get anything, Timmy? He got two food. Good. And two water. Oh, good god. Good job, Timmy. You got no items, but you got a lot of food and more waters. That's good. What's really good about this is that it keeps us alive longer with more rationing, so we could trigger that event to shave Ted down, so that's good. Um, Timmy, does he need to drink water and food now? Or can we hold off a bit here? Timmy's really tired, he should eat something. Alright, Timbo, I'm gonna feed you and give you water now. Just because I, I, I know that sending you out to the wasteland has kind of elevated your hunger and thirst by one extra day. So technically, you should be able to survive till day 19, but I don't really trust myself with this, so I'm just gonna give you water and food now. Alrighty, the military is transmitting again. They set the first step is to locate any remaining survivors. Oh, of course, of course. That's funny. That's a funny one. Apparently, to get rescued, we need the flashlight this time around. Not the playing cards, not the wood chopping event. No, no, no. You need the item that you need to bring along this time, Falcon, of course. That makes sense. That's how the game always plays with me. Anyway, the signal has to wait. Besides, do they even know how much flashlight batteries cost? Especially in this economy, especially after it was wiped out. Good point. Alrighty, so day 18. We can still go forward, everybody. Do we want to send somebody out there right now? I, I guess I'll hold off. Timmy didn't say a word about it, but when he went outside, he scratched his hand on a wire or some other rusty piece of metal. Um, This actually ruins the fire axe. So, Timmy, I'm sorry to say I can't heal you because our goal right now is to shave Ted, so we need to keep that fire axe around. Sorry, son. It's kind of heartless after all you did for us, but, you know, I can't do much about it. Let's just hope that we triggered the medkit event, though, and you'll be fine then. Alrighty, so, yeah, the best medicine for any sickness is to, or sickness is injury is to clench your teeth and ignore it. Well, not for Timmy's sake, that's for sure. Alrighty, day 19. Let's keep going forward here. Mary Jane is more than ready to go out to the scavenge, and Dolores is confident she will survive outside. Uh, I guess we'll send somebody out there after the next feeding day? Or should we just do it now? Yeah, let's just do it after the next feeding day, I'm going to say. So let's keep going forward for now. We got day 20 coming up. I mean, other than the illness on Timmy, I think we're looking relatively fine, and we have a lot of items still. Flashlight would be nice for that event for the um, military, but otherwise, we are doing relatively okay. So here comes the um, big decision. Do we want to get everybody in the same schedule again? And by what I mean by that is giving Timmy water and food now, so everybody's in day 20. Or do we keep going with the um, weird habitual thing that we're doing here? You know what? I'm going to go with food and water for everybody now. 
keep everybody just about in the same schedule. We're also going to... No, you know what? Those are all right of uh, statuses, but they're not really great. So I'm going to hold off on that one. Uh, we were sure we'd look through our supplies carefully, but Mary Jane spotted something we all missed. A seed! Oh, man. This one bothers me a lot because... I believe she gets either sick or something bad happens with her if you ignore the plant seed now. But in order to survive the plant seed event, we need the fire eggs, and we need the fire eggs to shape Ted. So no, we're gonna have to say no. I'm sorry, Mary Jane. Just deal with it, okay? What can I say? Deal with it. Are you to deal with it? Are you dealing with it? Fine. Good. You're grown up now. You're a grown girl. You know, just realize you can't have a fucking plant chia pet right now, okay? Or whatever the hell that might be. All right, day 21. Everybody's fine. Uh, other than, you know, Timmy. <laughs> Obviously, but I'm gonna tell you that. Ring, ring! No, we're not going out there. Screw that telephone, it's never anything good. I'm gonna have some coffee here, meanwhile. Ah, good coffee. Alrighty, see. Day 22. Way too dangerous to go outside, I know. Alright, so Mary Jane's like, he's a little food. Timmy, there's no news on Timmy. Dolores is a little bit hungry, and so is Ted. Let's see here now. Who's good? Ted is vigorous enough to withstand the hazards of the wasteland. I think it's about time we send Teddy out there, more than likely. Yeah. So, Teddy, you're going out there tomorrow. Uh, what's that trickling sound? Oh, no! We're about to lose either the map or the radio. We could only save one. You know what? At this point, I would rather save the radio than the map, I think. So, yeah, we'll save the radio. Because the map, uh, what's bad about it is that... You know, it has its uses for sure, but I think the best use for it is probably, um, when you have Doggy Man with you, so you can go out there and, like, you know, find stuff. So yeah, we lost the map. It happens. Day 23. We're sending Ted out there today. So there is that. Nobody gets food or water today, and we're gonna send Ted. Alright, Teddy Brewski, good luck out there, my friend. Hopefully you come back in one piece and with some good items for us. Preferably a medkit would be really great. Timmy is, you know, not looking so great here. Oh, boy. Alrighty, day 24. What do we got here? Nothing just yet. Day 25 is the next day. Shine your boots and hoist the flag. The army's on the radio again. Unfortunately for us, we have no flesh. So you know what? I'll, I'll admit this one. This is the first time the um, military has ever requested that I need the flashlight to get um, extracted or rescued, whatever way you want to go with here. That's the very first time. I've always gotten the cards, the wood shopping event. I have never, ever had the event that requires a flashlight to get rescued. It's actually pretty interesting. Um, alright, let's go forward here. Alright, or maybe I have and I just don't remember it because I usually have the flashlight. That could be it too. Alrighty. So today you guys get all water and food. Even Timmy. Even Timmy. No other random event though. How long has this episode been going on, by the way? <laughs> I kind of lost track. Let me take a quick little second here. Alrighty, we're actually kind of close to wrapping it up. So, let's see here. Day, what are we at? Day 26? Alrighty, so everybody has got water and food on day 25, so that should be fine. We're just waiting for Ted to come back now. Alrighty, nice. Bug spray event to fix the med kit. Timmy, don't die just yet. We're about to fix you up, my friend. Hang in there. Hang in there. I got I got a med kit for you, don't you worry. Got a med kit with your name on it right here. So, Timmy, give him the med kit. He'll survive, and we'll keep going forward. Now, he got sick from going outside, right? So... Luckily, we were able to save our fire axe for Ted's beard, and now Timmy's in one shape again, so that's good. Everything else is pretty ideal here. Let's see, day 28. Keep going forward. And not much else, huh? Interesting. Really boring day 28, apparently. Oh, Ted's back! Sweet! Okay, I see a gas mask. Let's see, what do you got here, Ted? You didn't bring back a map, though, did you? So you brought back food, you brought back two water, and the gas mask. That's about it, huh? Eh, you know, could have been better. I, I think Ted has to eat and drink water today. Because day 30 is the next one for everybody, but because he went out, he's on one day ahead of everybody now. So Ted gets water and food today, everybody else gets it tomorrow. Let's see here. Now, we can send somebody out there now as well, but remember, we've sent already two people out in expeditions in, you know, under 30 days, we'll say. So we could run the risk of um, alerting bandits to our location, so we probably should wait up a little bit here. We were about to go to sleep when we heard scratching coming from the door. At first, it sounded like an angry rat trying to eat the damn thing. We soon discovered it was something much worse. Someone is on the other side of the door trying to pry it open. We need to act. Uh, we're going to use that gun on whoever's out there. A gun's going to be really good to deter them away. You don't want to fuck with people with guns, man. And whatever it was, it's gone now because we're in one piece and everything's fine. It's not surprising that a few shots were enough to send those cowards running. The question is what happens in the rifle malfunctions or we use all of our ammo. Hey, thanks a lot for um, jinxing us here, buddy. 
So day 30 is going to be water and food day for everybody but Ted. So there you go. And we... Dolores is confident she will survive outside. Eh, we'll hold off a bit longer. Just because I want to attract more raiders or bandits. Although those were bandits and raiders right there too, I would imagine. Alright, day 31. Let's see here. It's hard to worry considering our current situation. Nobody should get anything today. Ted needs to drink water and have food on day 34, remember. He's on one day ahead of everybody else now. We can send Dolores out for an expedition. Mary Jane might be willing to go outside, and Timmy can do it. Timmy can go to the wasteland, so Timmy's fine for an expedition now. Do we go for it? I say we might as well do it, because we haven't seen that event in a bit now, so... Timmy's gonna be full of optimism. It's gonna be a second trip out there. Right now, the men are apparently carrying... Oh. Oh, wait, we have to send them out now. Right. So right now, we're just using all the men to do most of the expedition as well, so... We have a little bit of a trend happening here. So, Timmy, you're the one going out there. Day 32. Alrighty, guys, then we're going to wrap it up with this one here. Day 33 is what we're going to be picking up next episode. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Leave a thumbs up. Leave a like. The support does mean a lot. We need to shape Ted down. I think it grows more than this, right? It should. I don't know. It's been a while since I last played this consecutively, so I've forgotten a bit. Hopefully you enjoyed it. I will catch you next time.